Boydy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Haikyuu chapter 392. And oh my god, last chapter had to be one of the best chapters of Haikyuu in this arc. I swear to freaking god, it's at least top three. I freaking loved it because we got to see how my boy Atsubu developed uh, his new skill and it was it all tied back into uh, the former captain. Nishinoya, that's for sure. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see if what's in store for us this week. Guitar of Bakato, huh? Oh, hey, Sumsum, it's so cool we're on the same team now. Let me start by saying one thing. What? What? If you screw up and fail to score off one of my sets, I better not see you go all mopey and say you just ain't feeling it that day. Got it? Ha 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 ha! That's giving the business! Love it! Wah, of course I won't. I mean, I'm just the ace after all. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Oh my god. I'm not gonna love Picado so freaking much. Atsuma Mia is in a new is in a groove now, folks. Damn straight he is. So now we're at the second serve, and uh, chapter 392 is titled Just a Star. Another beautiful serve. Romero from uh, the right off the blocker's hands. Um uh Sakusa hustles for the save. Bokai! Yes! A uh, score! What a dude! Oh, for Donnie, that panel is beautiful. Score! What an amazing line shot from uh, Kotaro Bakoto. His line shots today have been... Wait, what's this? It seems like that um, last shot was actually out of bounds, was it? It was right on the line. Um, the ref is signaling that touched the pin. Uh, the ball's considered out of bounds if it passes outside of, uh, or brushes against the pin. Oh, oh, out of bounds, huh? Dude, that was lame! And so it's, uh, 13 to 11 right now. He's been doing, uh, so well so far today, too. Too well, in fact. I think today, he's been, uh, seeing things too clearly. I thought I had the line, uh, shot completely sealed off. Still, that was a scary play. Oh, I was out. And there aren't many play players who can terrify opposing teams, even when they mess up. So here's the current rotation right now. So, we're, um, on our side, we got Mia, obviously. Uh, Tomas uh, rotating with uh, Inukai and Sakusa in the back. And up at the front, we got Bakoto, uh, Mian, and uh, Hinata. And on the opposite side, we got Hoshiyumi, uh, Ushijima, and Hirogami. And in the back, Romero serving, and Kagiyama and Sokolov um uh, rotating with uh, Hiwajima, and I swear to God, damn God, I, I need some more um, Hinata versus Hoshiyubi. I need that at some point. But I don't mind if there's Hoshiyubi versus Pakoto either. I'm down with that. Man, uh, line shots were feeling so good today, too. Oh, wait, maybe their blockers are shutting down the line so hard because I'm so good at that. Because I'm, so <laughs> I'm so good at that today. Okay? Um, uh, I'll just hit it, hit it over there instead. There it is, folks. Uh, Pakoto's specialty, the ultra cross shot. One, two, Pakoto beam. Yeah, <laughs> Pakoto beam. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Dude, I love Pakoto. Dude, Pakoto's like the best. Oh god, Pakoto is like top three, at least top three characters in and fucking IQ. I fucking love this man. <laughs> um, cool. Not that. I jealous or, uh, or anything. Nope. Not jealous at all. That's lame. Totally lame. Shut up, Matsumu. You're fucking jealous. Stop it. You're just jealous of Makoto's greatness. <laughs> oh my god. I fucking love Makoto so much. Having a fun old personality like him on the team does a lot to keep uh, player morale and energy high. So now... Oh god. Makoto's serving. Oh god. So we, now... Oh Jesus. Oh, Pakoto's serving. This is gonna be dangerous. There we go. It's quite important, you know, for players to be in high spirits all the time, not just some of the time. Wait, how do I hit a cross shot again? Pakoto's weak! Point number th uh, 37, when one aspect of his game is working well, sometimes he'll completely forget how to do everything else! Oh shit! 
Ooh, this is not good. Oh, ooh, we're flashbacking. All right. So this is when um, Fukuro Dani um, was going up against uh, Ichibayashi. It's 13 to 15. Um, this is uh, for Adani National Spring, uh, oh, National Spring High sc uh, School Volleyball Tournament second place. Sorry, that was on me. My set, my set was bad, way too short. The fact that you could even uh, set the ball at all was really darn amazing. Uh, that was my fault. I had to score off of that one. Spiking every ball with full confidence is one of the rules of being a normal ace. I couldn't tell him not to blame himself. I didn't want to not <laughs> to. I didn't want to. Not to him. Not when he was an ace all the way down to his core, uh, Foibles and all, um, you know, in the end, you were, uh, really, 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 really bad in the butt! <laughs> oh, crap, the car screwed up, a backflip, and now he's not moving! We got PK tomorrow! Take it, I thought I had that time! Go to Kashi, get an ambulance! Whoa, I got, after a practice game, a bad loss, the car was just hiding in there! Oh, my God! No, I mean, there you are! Um, I just wondered how... Uh, firm pre um, firm press firmly back. <laughs> oh my god! But if I wasn't on the same team as you, I never would have gotten to see this view from center court. I consider myself supremely lucky that I was. Don't you quit now. You keep going. Got it? And give it everything you've got. Because I'll be cheering for you 110% of the way, um, Mr. Just Normal Ace. And there they are! Oh god! So there's a kid, um... Akinori uh, Kanoa, age 24, he's a pharmaceutical uh, company employee in Tokyo, and he's on the, <laughs> he's on the, oh my god, it's, it's seriously called, Ener uh, oh, I thought it said Energize for a minute, I was like, wait, uh, that's Energize uh, Pharma Volleyball Club um, on uh, Municipal Team, and then there's Yumas uh, um, Saruki, who's a civil servant in Tokyo, and, oh, damn, um, Haruki Komi uh, is an actor, sweet. Uh, Bakoto from the back now, but, uh, uh, Sokolov blocks it. Yo, try harder, Ace! Ha <laughs> Um, uh, Tamden e uh, Elephants, middle blocker, B League Division 2. Yeah, that's Wataro Inaga, age 22, college, uh, senior, starting work as an electrician next year in Saitama. And then there's, uh, Yuki, uh, Shirafuku, who's a nutritionist in Chiba, 23 now. And Kiori, uh, Suzumita, age 24, sports promoter in Tokyo. Um, Sokolov over the middle, and Nukai digs it, but it's an ugly pass. Um, Shoyokan! Loads! Bakuna-san! Crap short! Um, oh, dude. Oh god, we got the rules of being an ace. Holy sh... This is the... I'm guessing this is the rules of being an ace according to Bakuno. That, that is my guess. Um, one, the back, uh, the sight of your back must be an inspiration to your teammates. Two, any, um, an... All walls are to be crushed in three. Or anywhere he tries to hit, nah, he's gonna get stuffed. Oh, oh. Don't underestimate Bakoto. He hit it over the shoulder after he started falling. Damn, that was sneaky. Dude, that was sneaky. That's my boy right there. Score. What a clever and acrobatic shot from Bakoto. Now it scores 18 14. My goodness, the blockers got their hands well, well up in that time. So I figured that either rebound, uh, rebound or a block out uh, um, would be incredibly difficult for him. What? But he surprised all, uh, us all by brilliantly shifting the timing of his uh, hit to get around the block. That's Katara Makoto for you. Trust him uh, to come up with the unconventional solution. Damn straight! And number three is all balls are to be spiked with full strength and complete confidence. Hey guys, um, are you watching me now? I'm just a normal ace. chapters oh my god dude oh my god this chapter was great from start to finish too holy shit dude the past couple of chapters have been just goddamn amazing for a uh, you know what? i'm gonna say this i don't mean to talk shit about toge um or other magica i'm trying not to but you see this is how a final arc is supposed to be going especially a final match like this this is how it's supposed to be going like Writing-wise, I love it. And something else, I, and I mentioned this in my commencement earlier, I have a video, that I got, I totally realized this week when, uh, um, I, I just realized it randomly. I don't remember when, but I, re I realized this randomly. That something that Verdi did, which was really smart by doing, like, this time skip into the final arc, 
with the um, with uh, skipping those tournaments is that if Ferdotti is doing this on um, his own terms, then Ferdotti left that you know that um, time skip open to where he could go back and do a Dragon Ball Super kind of style thing, and I'm totally fine with that. That's the that uh, that's if if um. Again, I would have preferred it for a dot. He just would have went on hiatus for a minute and gotten back to those arcs. But if, um, if like, if we're in a situation here where for a dot, it's just, you know, if, because you guys in the comment section have told me that for a dot, he went to Brazil and he was just so stuck on this Brazilian insp Brazil inspiration and wanted to get this final arc done before going back to the other arcs. That makes a little bit more sense to me B based on how it's set up. I really think that, I really am starting to believe this is on more on Furidate's terms than anything. Because Furidate can always go back and um, do the, uh, give, us the, give us those tournaments um, whenever he wants to go back to doing Haikyuu. That's, and I think that's kind of smart. I'm glad that, uh, uh, it's better than what we're getting with Kometsu no Yaiba, with what Katoge's doing. I swear, Katoge should have either, either just set, a, uh, set up a sequel or just taking more breaks. But, I'm, oh God. I'm telling you, that, like, when we get, break, when uh, Haiku goes on hiatus like this, we get really goddamn good chapters. <laughs> the writing is great. This is great. I'm really happy with this. I'm hoping that uh, writing wise, we're going to keep going in this direction. I really, really love what Furtati is doing with this writing. I really do. I'm hoping this is the direction. We're going to be going in for uh, the rest of the manga. I really, really do. At least for this match. It would be just, oh. It just, this, this I feel like we're, we're at like peak haiku writing right now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The structure is just amazing. Anyway, um, what did you guys think of this chapter? Uh, if you're a Bakoto fan, you probably are living for this chapter. <laughs> I fucking love Bakoto. Dude, I love Bakoto so fucking much. Bakoto's just a an amazing character you can't hate him even though he's a pain in the ass you can't hate him anyway let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys um thought of this chapter and um do you guys kind of see where i'm coming from in terms of like what fredate is doing that maybe like someday fredate will go back and do those high those uh, high school tournament arcs and those will be like the lost chapters kind of thing. I kind of would love to see for a die to that. I'm not going to lie. Or it'd be Haiku Super or some shit. <laughs> Can we get that, please? Seriously, for a die, I would not mind that at all. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Haiku content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my uh, Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in uh, the uh, description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.